this isn't really going to be the easiest video I've ever made. You see, the topic is drugs, and there's been some drama in my life regarding that. I have this girlfriend. For those of you who don't know, I'm a lesbian. Her name is Felicia, but everybody called her Flea. Now, I found out that she had a thing for beer, specifically PBR. Um, found that out after we'd been in the relationship for a while. She'd been sober since before I knew her, but yeah, she was an addict. I was happy enough to be sober around her myself. I mean, I didn't go clubbing all that often, and when I do, I have maybe two doubles the whole night, tops, so it really wasn't much of a loss. But then one night, she tells me she wants me to know some other aspect of her life. Now, we'd been together for months at this point, so I was inclined to trust her. But she takes me up to this bar called Dino's. I'd kind of heard of it. If Seattle were in the galaxy far, far away, then you will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy than Dino's. She proceeds to find a guy and buy crack off him. Then we go back to her place with some complete stranger who barely spoke English, and they proceed to smoke the rock between them. I didn't really know what to do, honestly. I mean, I knew I wasn't going to do crack, but that was my girlfriend. Should I have just stood up and walked out, broken up with her? Maybe. But I'm glad I didn't. You see, the next morning after I woke up, she and this stranger dude are still bouncing off the wall, high as kites, like they'd each drunk a 12-pack of Mountain Dew. I say good morning, we start talking about breakfast, and while we are, suddenly Flea's eyes roll back in her head. I didn't know they really did that outside the movies. And then she collapses to the floor. I tried to catch her, but I still wasn't awake yet. Only now I was. I suppose I could have panicked. Goodness knows I was freaking out a little, but not so much that I couldn't keep my wits about me enough to notice that she wasn't breathing. So I gave her a few breaths mouth to mouth and shouted at the stranger guy to bring me the phone to call 911. He wasn't going to do it. He barely spoke English. Flea took two breaths on her own, then stopped again. I did some more mouth to mouth and then dialed. I told the operator the situation, told her to hold on while I gave Flea more breaths, then gave her the address. I kept my girlfriend alive until the EMTs got there, watched them drive her away. I wasn't allowed to ride along with her to the hospital. Then asked a friend if I could come over because I needed to cry in someone's arms for an hour. There's actually more to this story, like how we ultimately did break up after this, and, well, other stuff that doesn't really relate to the topic, so never mind. Thing is, I loved that crazy bitch, and I think some tiny part of me still does, but... I have a very strict no-addicts policy on my dating life now. That might be unfair to some girls who've been perfectly sober for ages, but I can't do that again. Not again. Now, you'd think after something like that, it'd be pretty rabidly anti-drug, right? Seems a justifiable position to want to take, all things considered, but no. If people want to play around with substances, I say go ahead. Hell, I've dropped acid three times, and LSD in a dark room while watching Tron is pretty awesome. And I've also used marijuana, though that was for medical purposes. I have a kind of chemically triggered epilepsy, and the CBDs in pot are supposed to help with it, but even the tiniest amount of THC seems to fuck me up pretty hard. If it's possible to be dizzy but not nauseous, that's what it does to me. It's really, really unpleasant. My policy on drugs, though, is to make them legal but regulate them to keep people from addiction or harm. I was able to get the weed because it's legal here in Washington State. It was a prescription for my doctor. Like I said, regulated. You can get it recreationally, too, and marijuana is pretty harmless compared to other drugs, so it's not the best example. But if people want to do cocaine or heroin or something, I say let them. But make sure it's controlled to keep things sane. Uh, maybe set up places where people can do it uh, under observation, you know, give them some private room or cubby while they do a set amount of the drug and have their name on a list somewhere in some database so you can check to make sure that they've only done it X number of times in a week or a month or whatever. Makes sense to me. My only thing is, and I realize a lot of people might not agree with this one, is that I think any smokable drugs should only be allowed in those designated areas. Uh, you know, unless it's also edible. Like I said, weed messes me up, and people rather inconsiderately smoke it right out on the sidewalk here, and that's really not okay. Of course, I feel similarly about tobacco, and I'm sure people would be up in arms if they were only allowed to smoke in certain specific zones. But I do think it's obnoxious to give everybody else facefuls of your fumes. It's just rude. But barring that, 
I say do what you like. I mean, please have consideration for the friends and family you might hurt if you go overboard. You know, try not to be a selfish, destructive prick about it. But seriously, do whatever you like. I'm not religious, but what's that Wiccan saying? Harm none, do as you will. I'm all over that. It's a great life policy. And that's how I feel about drugs. Until next time, fellow space travelers. Not rating and subscribing has been found to cause obesity, acne, and male pattern baldness in laboratory rats.